Today we're going to take a look at the new wireframe clean function that's been added to the latest version of Studio RM. And to demonstrate this, we're going to take a look at CMS wireframe. And CMS wireframes are typical for having things like um, open edges, as we can see in the portal. Um, also some small triangles which also tend to cause a lot of problems here and these are very very small triangles and finally we've got crossovers as we can see here. Now if I come to the structure ribbon I'm first of all going to verify the wireframe and check for open edges and for crossovers and what that'll do is it will create strings where we've actually got those problems and it says we've got 736 open edges and 101 intersections found. So Studio RM creates strings where we detect problems with the wireframe. So if I just zoom out and take a look at the open edges, you can see that they are associated with the portal and also this other side of this um, CMS. And for the crossovers, again, I've got some crossover strings where we've got triangles that are overlapping. Typically these problems are very difficult to sort out manually. You may need to go in and delete individual triangles or relink individual triangles, but either way it's, uh, it, it's quite tricky to do that. So we've introduced a new function called wireframe clean. And I'm just gonna go through uh, three of the options here today. So things that we would use in this CMS would be remove planar holes, and in effect this will uh, end link or cap the open edges. Also remove crossovers, we'll remove the internal triangles based on where we had crossing uh, those triangles crossing over. And I'm going to use this option to remove edges less than, and this is an actual value. So based on the fact that my CMS is based on meters, I'm going to remove all the triangles less than 25 centimeters. So what that will do is create a new object called cleaned wireframe. And if I turn off the display of my original, you can see that indeed it is now cleaned wireframe. The portal has been capped and these small triangles have been removed. If I compare this to the previous, you can see I have a lot of small triangles associated with that end and they've all been removed. And now I have a 3D solid, which is going to quickly enable me to calculate the volume. And if I calculate closed volume of this, I get an accurate uh, volume and also tonnage, and there are no warnings associated with uh, wireframe verification problems.